gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. May we invite the President to kindly proceed to the tarmac for the inspection of the crates containing the doses of Sputnik V vaccines accompanied by His Excellency Barat Pavlov, Vaccine Czar Secretary Cardito Galvez Jr., Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo, Secretary Eduardo Año, Presidential Assistant on Foreign Affairs Robert Borge, and Under Secretary Maria Carolina Vidal Taino. You are now witnessing the inspection of crates containing the doses of Sputnik V vaccine. And let us all witness the affixing of the res bakuna sticker on the vaccine crates. Thank you very much, Mr. President. A warm round of applause, please. At this juncture, may we invite the President, together with the Tarmac Party, for a photo opportunity. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, may we invite the President on stage for the ceremonial turnover of the Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine vials, accompanied by His Excellency Marat Pavlov, Vaccine Czar Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr., Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo, Secretary Eduardo Año, Presidential Assistant on Foreign Affairs Robert Borge, and Under Secretary Maria Carolina Vidal. We are now witnessing the inspection of the Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine vials. Thank you, Mr. President. You may now take your seats. To begin our program, may we call on the Vaccine SARS Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. for his welcome remarks. To our President, the Republic of the Philippines, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Sir. His Excellency Marat Pavlov, the Ambassador of Russia in the Philippines. Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo, Chair, Senate Committee on Health and Demography. Secretary Eduardo Año, the Department of Interior and Local Government Secretary. Yusek Robert Eric Borges, 
the Chief Presidential Protocol and Presidential Assistant on Foreign Affairs, Ms. Olivia Lim Limpiao, the President of Philippine International Trading Corporations, other guests, media pr practitioner, magandang uh, gabi po. To our President, Rodrigo Rojo Duterte, the Russian Ambassador, Marat Pablot, Interior Secretary Eduardo Año, members of the diplomatic corps, and colleagues in the government, good evening. On behalf of the National Task Force and the Department of Health, we thank the Russian government and Russian Direct Investment Fund for upholding your commitment to send these life-saving Sputnik V vaccines as agreed upon in our construct. We also thank the Philippine Archipelago International Trading Corporation, Chairwoman and President Olivia Limpiao for working tirelessly to ensure the timely delivery of this vaccine doses to the Philippines. And of course, we would like to thank our President, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, for his independent foreign policy, which is anchored on the principle of friend to all, enemy to none, which has allowed our country to secure sufficient supply of these vaccines from our bilateral partners. Tonight, we are pleased to receive one of the biggest shipments of the Sputnik V vaccines to the country to date. The 2,805,000 doses consisting of Component 1 and Component 2. We know we now have the supplies to administer the first and second doses of this vaccine. This latest delivery brings us closer to completing our procurement contract with the RDIF. The fund already delivered 7.19 million vaccine doses out of the 10 million doses the Philippine government has procured. These Sputnik V vaccines will benefit more than 3.5 million individuals and will enable the country to significantly scale up its vaccination output so that we can achieve our goal of inoculating at least 54 million Filipinos with at least one dose this November and completely inoculate them before the year end. As we have said time and again, vaccine supply is no longer a problem. The greater challenge we are facing right now is how to get the COVID-19 job into the arms of as many Filipinos as possible. But we believe that nothing is impossible if all of us will do our share and work all together hand in hand. In closing again, we would like to thank the Russian government and its people for the act of kindness and generosity in providing us access to the 10 million life-saving vaccines of Sputnik B. We will always remember and we will never forget your compassion during this time of need. Maraming salamat po. Ogrom Noye Spu Shiba. Dagan salamat. Thank you, Secretary Galvez. At this point, may we invite the Ambassador of the Russian Federation to the Philippines, His Excellency Marat Pavlov, to deliver his message. Mr. President, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to join President Rodrigo Duterte and all of you to witness the arrival of one of the biggest shipment of Russian vaccine procured by the Philippine government. I am happy to note that close and confidential dialogue between my President Vladimir Putin and your 
Mr. President, is developing via implementing concrete bilateral projects. Today's occasion for which we all have gathered here is a proof to the fact that we are on the right track. Another 2.8 million doses of Sputnik V arrived today to the Philippines, bringing total delivery of Russian vaccine to more than 7 million doses. The Russian side is close to fulfill its contracted obligation to provide the Philippines with 10 million doses. But we believe that there is no room for complacency. I would like to emphasize that Russia will continue to support and assist the government of the Philippines in achieving the national goals related to public health. The negotiation on another very efficient Russian vaccine, Sputnik Light, is underway. And we look forward to their successful conclusions. Without your political will, Mr. President, as well as great public support of Sputnik V by Secretary Loxing and very active and supportive role of Yusek Borge, we would have continued to discuss up to today not the amount of the batch, but the issue of granting EUA. But now we have reached this big result. And our deep thanks also go to Secretary Galvez, Vaccine Tsar, as well as your President's special envoy to the Russian Federation, Madame Olivia Limpeau. Your joint effort uh, contributed a lot to the procurement of Sputnik V to the Philippines. I can add some words about our bilateral interaction. So our bilateral cooperation in other areas will require the same active involvement from the Filipino side. And we count to a further strong support, Mr. President, in boosting our bilateral relations in the field of trade, industry, energy, military technical cooperation. As for the military collaboration, I'd like to inform you, Mr. President, of upcoming port call of the detachment of five Russian warships to Manila on November 16, 18. We would be honored if the Filipino leadership could visit one of these warships. This year we are celebrating the 45th anniversary of establishing the Russian-Philippine diplomatic relations. It became a good occasion to step up people-to-people -people connectivity and promote cultural exchange. Only one example. There is a movie project on the auspice of the Philippine-Russian Business Assembly, which we are very enthusiastic about. The name of the movie is very symbolic, To Russia With Love, that is going to be released hopefully by the end of the year. So the purpose of this movie is to showcase the similarities in the cultures of the two countries. It's the first ever project of such nature in history of our relations. And we do hope 
uh, it will be very uh, stimulate um, for public uh, in the Philippi uh, in the Philippines to Russia. At the end of my speech, I'd like you to know that, Mr. President, that I am trying to do my best to further strengthen bilateral cooperation. So I wish you good health and success. And to the people of the friendly Philippines, well-being and prosperity. Thank you, Mr. President. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Ambassador Pavlov. At this juncture, may we call on Secretary Eduardo Año to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly sit now, sorry. The Russian Federation Ambassador to the Philippines, His Excellency Marat Pavlov, the National Task Force Chief Implementer and Vaccine Czar Secretary Carlito Galvez, Jr. Senator Bongo, Chairperson of the Senate Committee on Health and Demography, National Task Force Vice Chair, Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Año, Presidential Assistant on Foreign Affairs and Chief of Presidential Protocol Robert Borges, Health Under Secretary Maria Carolina Vidal Taino. The special envoy, the special envoy to the Russian Federation, Olympia Limpiao. Fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to join you today as we welcome the arrival of more than 2.8 million doses of Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccines. This gives us reason to be thankful for the strong support of our friends from the international community in overcoming pandemic. Let me express my gratitude to the Russian government for the continued supply of life-saving COVID-19 vaccines to the Philippines. These deliveries affirm Russia's commitment to achieve local vaccine equity and improving vaccine accessibility to countries, especially the Philippines. I deeply appreciate Russia's efforts in fostering cooperation in various areas, including the fight against COVID-19. Goodwill initiatives, such as this vaccine donation and others, demonstrate the strong ties and friendship between Russia and the Philippines. Furthermore, I acknowledge the strong efforts of the Department of Health, Department of Foreign Affairs, the National Task Force Against COVID-19, and other institutional partners for ensuring a steady supply 
of vaccine in this country. Amidst the threat of variants, you attended to prompt and safe and effective delivery, distribution, administration of the vaccines across the country. Let us work together to put an end to this disease and its harmful effects to our, our people and the economy for nearly two years now. Rest assured that this administration is committed to securing safe and effective vaccines for all Filipinos. On this note, I appeal to all our Kababayans to cooperate and do their part to help overcome this pandemic. The government cannot do this alone, and we need your active participation by getting vaccinated and strictly following the minimum health standards. Let us celebrate all our meaningful victories against COVID-19 pandemic. We are willing to do our battle against the virus. Let us continue to be safe and in good health. Again, in behalf of a grateful Filipino nation, thank you to the Russian government. Mabuhay ang Russia at ang Pilipino. Salamat po. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program. Thank <laughs> you.